ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is Fat Heisenberg here and welcome to my first FIFA 16 video. Sorry it is long overdue guys, but between my Elgato breaking and being ill uh, and all of that mixed in with a couple of people trying to burgle me the other day, being a little bit busy elsewhere. So, today I'm going to bring you a squad that I've thought up today. Um, basically I've had a bit of a bad back today and I had family around earlier, I had a few beers, had a few tablets for my back and I was a, li I was a little bit spaced so I didn't feel like playing today. Um, I've played three or four games offline most of the day, I've just been chilling and thinking of squads, uh, different concept squads and different things that would be cool to try. Um, this squad is what I came up with just so, I've played one game with it, and I've got to say, it feels amazing. Um, these players, uh, the front three in this squad, uh, are the best three I've played with. And I've tried a lot of players on this game already. Um, for those of you who don't know, I got very lucky. Pack Robin, my first or second pack. Um, and I sold him for about 450k. Um, that was like a day before release. Um, that's just allowed me to pick up players, sell them on, pick up players, sell them on. But basically I've tried a lot of players, I've tried a lot of informs and I've just been selling them on for profit. Um, which is the best thing to do. Just today to finish building this squad I've ended up selling my informed Depay uh, and my informed Kagawa. Now my informed Depay I treble my money on. Um, Payet, sorry, not the pot. Tablets, beer. Yeah. Um, yeah, my informed Payet. I trebled my money on him. Uh, lost about 3k on my Kagawa, but oh, it was a risk I was willing to take. Just to make this squad. So, guys, I'm going to jump straight into it now rather than boring you for any longer. So, in goal, I'm going to go with Alves. Now, Anybody who has had connection issues with the game, contact EA. EA will give you some non-tradable packs as a compensation. Pack this guy in it, so I may as well use him. Uh, he's a decent keeper and has been for many FIFAs now. So, in goal, Alves. Uh, at left back, I'm going for Kazawa. A um, little bit of a hybrid team already, as you can tell. Um, and you can guess right now it's going to be Lapidor or Verano at centre back here. So I'm going to go Lapidor. Um, I'm going to go Matthew at the right centre back. And then at right back, I'm going to go with Debushi. So it rounds off a nicely rounded back four. There's a de decent difference in ability. Uh, for pace, but they've all got one thing in common. They've all got good defending. Um, and physical to some extent. You know, 75 plus physical is good. So, the linchpin in midfield, moving on, is going to be Sergio Busquets, uh, who is going to be told to stay back when attacking. This guy's there just to sit in front of the back four, turning it into a back five when need to. Um, and with his heading ability, he's fairly solid. So on the left-hand side of the midfield, I'm going to go for Pastore. And on the right-hand side of midfield, I'm going to go Matuidi. Now, some of you have probably already guessed where I'm going with this. Um, but what you may not have realised is I'm going to stick Suarez at Cam in this team. I'm going to go with when EA decides to sort its server out. Almost guarantee I'm about to get kicked out of the game. Sorry, guys. Bear with me one second. And well, we're back. All right, and our left-hand striker is going to be Zlatan. And our right-hand striker... He's going to be another player that I packed in one of my untradeable packs in Cavani. Um, oops, didn't realise I hadn't stuck my chemistry card on Cavani. I, 
Many of you may know is from previous FIFAs. I tend to go with Hawk over Hunter simply because the Hawk adds more uh, depth to the stats. Whereas the Hunter card's just shooting and pace. Uh, the Hawk card adds physical as well, which is you know an important stat this year. Anybody who's really got into it, the game uh, will tell you how important this stat is. Now, what this team does, Zlatan, hands down, um, I haven't played with anybody anywhere near as good as him. I've tried Rooney, I've tried Costa, I've tried uh, Muller, I've tried uh, Welbeck. <laughs> Bear with me, Welbeck, not a bad striker. <coughs> He's my top scorer currently. Um, I haven't tried Aguero, I would like to try Aguero, and I haven't tried Tevez. But Zlatan, out of all of the strikers that I've tried, uh, including Aubameyang and everybody, he feels the best by far. And in the one game I've played with him, he just absolutely beasted. Just every, everything, every shot I had uh, felt like it was going in, including a Rabona shot, which hit the bar. Um... Six foot five, an absolute unit. He's got so many strengths and uh, strengths, traits, and special abilities. It is unreal. And his low medium work rate means, yeah, he doesn't bust a gut, but he doesn't wander too far away from his position to begin with. Um, he misses his four star, his five star skills again this year, and. I'm not 100% sure why EA have taken his 5 star off him. I didn't agree last year. I don't agree this year. Um, but he's an absolute machine. Cavani, good support striker. Uh, and Suarez, at Cam. He got one goal and one assist in the game that we played with him. Um, I may end up jiggling this team around ever so slightly. I feel... That this year Suarez's cam is probably going to be wasted, whereas last year I used him as cam nearly all year. The thing is, um, his shooting is that damn good, and you kind of want him near the box. And in this formation, the cam can drop back quite a lot. Uh, again, it's something I could change in my player instructions, in all honesty. Um, for anybody who's interested, these are my player instructions that I normally stick out. I stay back whilst attacking. I'll have one striker getting in behind, central, and getting behind. I'll leave Zlatan on mixed. Um, and then I will have Suarez on getting the box for crosses. And I'm going to switch him to stay forward. Those are the only changes I make. Now, in a game, if I'm getting murdered down the wings, I'll go to my left back and my right back and I'll tell them to stay back whilst attacking as well. Because 99 times out of 100, you don't need them to be bombing forward on that overlap. And if they do, you're just going to get exposed by Theo Walcott and co. down the wings. <laughs> anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoy this squad. I'm going to be doing my squad builder series on a more regular basis now I've got things sorted with my capture devices. I'm also looking to start my Pro Clubs Powerhouse project again, uh, starting in Division 10. Uh, last year, I kind of lost its way. We uh, were struggling to get on the same page, same days off, and get together with my friends. But what I started to do when I've been Twitch streaming is I'm actually playing with uh, viewers off my Twitch stream. So it's creating a new dynamic and it's something that you guys can get involved with if you feel that's what you want to do. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. This squad is absolutely sensational. If you have got the coins to build it, build it. It's 900k to a million. Uh, I understand a lot of you won't have that kind of money at the moment, but it's something to aim for as you're saving. Remember, these players will be dropping in price. And you may end up coming and it costing around about 700k. Uh, after 100 or so games and using all your coin boosts, you're going to have about 200,000 coins anyway. So, anyway guys, 
thanks for watching. I've been Fat Heisenberg. If you like the squad, please drop a like and a comment in the comment section below. And I will catch you next time. For cheap Microsoft and PSN vouchers, please make your way over to G2A.com. Link is in the description.